it's Gabrielle, and this video is a sample from StudyClicks Boost, our new rapid revision tool. Go to studyclicks.ie forward slash boost to find out more. Hey folks, it's Stephen here with StudyClicks, and in this video, we're looking at algebra and three set Venn diagrams. Now, this is going to be an algebra heavy video, so do feel free to pause it as we go through it because it'll get quite busy at times. So let's see how these questions can appear with three sets Venn diagrams and algebra. I'm told a group of shoppers were asked if they bought bread B, eggs E or milk M in their most recent grocery shopping trip. And the table below highlights the results. So we have eggs with 42 people, 50 people buying bread, 45 buying milk, eggs and bread there were 25 people, 32 bought bread and milk, 30 bought eggs and milk, X people bought bread, eggs and milk and 6 bought none. And the first part of these questions will ask you to represent this information on a universal Venn diagram in terms of X. And a reminder that in terms of X just means there's going to be an X in your answer. So on this Venn diagram, we can expect to see lots of X's across it. So let's get stuck in. I'm going to draw three sets, one for eggs, one for bread and one for milk. And I'll draw a box around them for the universal set. And then we're going to start filling in our numbers. But first, we'll remind ourselves of the golden rule for filling in a Venn diagram. And that is to start with the middle and work your way out. So the first place I'm going to fill in is the three way intersection. Eggs intersect bread, intersect milk. So I'm saying who bought all three? Well, you can see from my table that X people bought all three bread, eggs and milk. So X is going in there straight away. Then we're going to move on to the two way intersections. So I'll have a look at this yellow region first, eggs and bread only. So that yellow region so far are the people who bought eggs and bread, but not milk. However, if we look to our table, we know that 25 people bought eggs and bread. And I hope you'll agree with me that this entire yellow region that I'm now highlighting is the region of people who bought eggs and bread. So that whole yellow region has to add up to 25. However, there's already X people in there. So to fill in the top part, I'm going to have to do 25 and take off the X people who are already in there. And that's our eggs and bread region filled out. Next, I'll move over here to the left to fill in the eggs and milk region. Now, if I look to my table, I know that 30 people bought eggs and milk. So that means the entire intersection of eggs and milk here, this yellow region should add up to 30. But similarly, like before, there's already X people in there. So I'm going to have to take my 30 people and take away the X people who are already in that region. And moving over to the last two way intersection, we have bread and milk only. And if I look to my table, I have 32 people who bought bread and milk. So that means the entire intersection for bread and milk here should add up to 32. But like before, we've X people already there in the middle. So I'm going to do 32 and take away the X people there to get the number of people in that region. It's a good idea to constantly cross off as you're going along the information you've used as well to keep you on track. Now, let's get ahead to fill in the only region. So let's have a look here at this region for eggs only, that yellow region. Now, we have a bit of work to do for this, because if we look to our table, we're told that 42 people bought eggs. But that means this entire purple circle should add up to 42 because that's the circle of people who bought eggs. So how am I going to get that yellow part? Well, watch what we're going to do for eggs only. We're going to take the 42 which the circle should add up to and take away all the people who are already there. So I'm taking away 25 minus X and notice how I put that in brackets. I'm taking off the X people from the three way intersection and I'm taking off the 30 minus X people who are down below in the eggs and milk only. Then I'm going to tidy this up. I'm going to multiply the minus into the brackets to get minus 25 plus X. We'll have a minus X. We have minus 30 and plus X coming along. And then I'm going to tidy up the letters and the numbers together. So X minus X will cancel out. Then if we go for our 42 minus 25 minus 30, we're going to get minus 13. And we have a plus X at the end. And just a nicer way of saying minus 13 plus X is X minus 13. So that means X minus 13 people are going in this yellow region. We're going X minus 13 for eggs only. So once more, what did we do there? We took the whole total 
for eggs, which was 42, and took off the three parts that were already filled in. We took away the 25 minus x, minus the x, and minus the 30 minus x. We had them all in brackets. We tidied up using our algebra by multiplying the minus in and simplified our expression. That will be the hardest part for these Venn diagrams, folks, and it's open to so many mistakes. So use your brackets and be very careful multiplying your minus in. I can take eggs off my table. Now I'm going to move over to bread only, and I'm going to repeat the process. I'm going to do something very similar. To figure out the number of people in bread only, I'm looking at my table and saying that 50 people use bread. So that means this entire circle for bread should add up to 50. So in order to find the yellow region, we're going to take away the three parts that are already there from 50. So I'm starting with my 50. I'm taking away the 25 minus X that's in there. And I put that in brackets. I take away the X from the middle intersection and I take away the 32 minus X from the bread and milk only. Next, what I'll do is I'll multiply these minuses into the bracket and I'll be very careful when I do that. So we get 50 minus 25, then we've minus minus x, which becomes plus x. We have a minus x in the middle. We're going to get minus 32, and then we have a minus minus x, which becomes a plus x at the end. I'll go ahead and tidy up the letters together and tidy up the numbers together. So x take away x will cancel out. And then I'm working out 50 minus 25 minus 32 to get a value of minus 7. And we have a plus x there at the end. So we can go ahead and throw that in. But just to tidy it up, I like the letter first, then the number. So I'm going to say that this is the same as x minus 7. And that's what I'll pop in my Venn diagram, the x minus 7. And to keep going filling in our Venn diagram, we're going to do the exact same for milk, folks. I'm told here that the circle for milk is 45 in total from the table. So that means to find the number of people in milk only, what I'll have to do is start with my 45 take off the 30 minus x that's already in there, take off the x and take away the 32 minus x in the exact same fashion as before. Doing that, we get a value of minus 17 plus x or what we will call x minus 17. So I'm throwing x minus 17 into the region for milk only. Lastly, looking at our table, there's only one region left to fill out, and that is the outside of the circles floating in the universal space. We have six people who bought none of the eggs, bread or milk. So straight away, six is just going to go into the outside. That is our Venn diagram filled out, folks, and it's busy. We start with the middle, putting our X in. We work to the two way intersections where we had to subtract off the X each time. But then to find the regions eggs only, bread only and milk only, there's a bit of algebra involved. We take the total and take away each of the regions that are already in there and we'll be so, so careful with our minuses and our brackets. These questions can throw a bit more algebra at us. So let's see an extension. I'm told in part B, a total of 75 shoppers were surveyed. Find the value of X. Now, I hope you'll agree with me that this whole box, the universal set, everything in it has to add up to 75 because there were 75 shoppers in total. So basically, we're going to take that fact. We're going to say that the total here is equal to 75. And what I'll do is I'm going to take every single part of that Venn diagram and add it up and make it equal 75. So I'm going to start with my X minus 13. I'm going to add on my 25 minus X, adding on X minus 7. Then I'll add on 30 minus X, adding on just the X. Then I'll continue to add on 32 minus X. Then I'll add on the X minus 17. And finally, adding on the 6. And I know when that's all added up, this has to equal the total value of 75. So we have a bit of a busy equation here. So what we'll do is we'll try to cancel out some of the X's. Notice here how I've had positive X and a minus X. I have another positive X and a minus X. And down the bottom, I have another minus X and a positive X. Then we'll go ahead and sort out the numbers. So what I've left with here, we'll tidy it up. I have minus 13 plus 25 minus 7 plus 30 plus X plus 32 minus 17 plus 6. And this has to equal the total of 75. I'm going to launch all of those numbers on the left hand side into my calculator to get a total of 56. So I have a 56 and I've also got a plus X and this is going to equal the total of 75. And now I want to solve for x here to find the value of x. So I'll isolate it on the left 
by subtracting 56 from both sides. And when we do that, we get here that x is equal to 19. So there we have it, folks. That's how we're always going to find the value of x here. They will give us the total. So we add up the entire Venn diagram, every single part. And don't forget the outside number in the Venn diagram, the six outside gets added as well. And we let that equal the grand total of 75. We tidy it up. So you'll always get a bit of a scenario where you're crossing out a positive and a negative x to give zero. We'll tidy it up. Be careful throwing the numbers into your calculator and then you'll get your nice wee equation to solve. Now it's your turn to try this out. Pause the video here, work through these questions and check in with the solutions when they appear on screen. Here in question one, we add up the entire Venn diagram and let it equal the grand total of 120. Then we solve. In question two, we first fill in our Venn diagram by starting with the middle and working our way out. Be very careful in your working out of the pop only, house only, and rock only regions. Then in part B, to find the value of x, we add up the entire Venn diagram, let it equal the total of 78, and solve. Question three expected us to fill in the Venn diagram straight away, being very careful working out the value of each region. Then to find x, we add up the entire Venn diagram, let it equal the total, and solve. Thanks for watching.